Sally. Before you came along, in one of my many dark moments, Harper had a breakdown, and after my less than adequate attempt to soothe her, she said, I want a new mommy. And I told her it would be great to have a new mommy, but it had to be someone who would love us as much as mommy loved us. And it would be, have to be someone who we loved as much as we loved mommy. Harper needed a great role model, someone who was the kind of woman that I hoped she would grow up to be one day. And I needed the rarest of rare birds, someone who could make my carefully hidden insides light up when I thought of her. Someone who's not just funny, but funny in exactly the right way, where I get her and she gets me, and there's no need to write LOL on a text because she knows when she texts me that I'm actually LOLing. Someone I can count on so completely that I never have the slightest afterthought about the words act matching her actions. Beyond that, I need this mythical woman to be single, be attracted to me, and be willing to accept two of us as a package deal. What I didn't say to Harper, but was thinking at the time, is that woman might come along sometime in between never and not a chance. Sally Brooks, you're all of those things times infinity. I can't actually believe that I'm standing up here in a wedding dress getting married. I never really wanted to get married. I mean, not only was I pretty good at being single, I kind of liked it, and I really loved my independence, and I didn't think I needed to be married. I've never been so happy to be wrong in my life. Like you're trying to fight gravity on a planet that insists that love is like falling, and falling is like this. That was Annie DeFranco's, and that's pretty accurate for me. I knew pretty early on that we were going to end up together. Also, a psychic told me that we were. <laughs> it would be impossible for me to list all the ways that you have made my life better, but here are some of the highlights. You make me coffee and breakfast in bed. I open my eyes each morning, and there you are with hot coffee, asking me what I'd like for breakfast every single day. You're calm, and that makes me calm. Er, calmer. You make me feel safe. You make me laugh so hard. You have taught me about patience, tolerance, and acceptance. You accept me exactly as, as I am. You're the most generous person that I've ever known. On behalf of Sally and Peter and their families, I want to welcome everyone here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts. Together we gather to celebrate the best of what it means to be human. Today we celebrate love. Harper Joy, today is not just about Daddy and me. It's about all of us. Harper Joy Sprite, I promise to be fair and honest with you. I promise to be here for you always with an open heart and an open mind. I promise to love and support you as my own every day for the rest of my life. I will respect and honor you and allow you to fully express yourself as the incredible and unique little girl that you are. I want you to know that there is a special place in my heart that is reserved only for you. I love you. Today, I choose you to be my wife. I vow to you, Sally, that I will love you, support you, and encourage you I vow to always keep 
our relationship and our family the highest priority. I accept you as you are, love you without condition. I will care for you, stand by you, and share with you all of life's adventures and adversities and all of its joys from this day forward for as long as I live. Thank you for marrying me. I love you. Antoine de Saint-Exupéry, who wrote The Little Prince, said, Love does not consist in gazing at each other, but in looking outward together in the same direction. And that's how it feels with you. So today, I join my life to yours. Wherever you go, I will go. Whatever you face, I will face. Peter Sprite, I promise to be there for you when you need me and even when you don't. I promise to support you in reaching your goals and achieving your dreams. I promise to keep a house stocked with tea. Anything but Lipton. I promise to put us before you and me. I promise to always speak my heart and to give you the room to speak yours. And I promise to love you even when you're mad at me, which will be really easy because you never get mad. You gave me a birthday card on your birthday one year. We'd been dating for about four months and at the end you wrote, I look forward to the day when I somehow figure out how to take care of you one-tenth as well as you take care of me. That day is here, Peter Nagley Sprite. That day is today. I love you. Can I, can I kiss her now? <laughs> now, by the power vested in me by the state of California and the internet, it is my great honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. You may seal the declaration with a kiss. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the newlyweds, Peter and Sally. Sally and Peter, I would ask that you always treat yourself and each other with respect and remind yourselves often what brought you together today. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. May the wedding rings you exchange today remind you always that you are surrounded by enduring love.